My friend, we cannot keep this a secret any longer. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. I'm Kevin Henney. I'm an independent consultant, uh, trainer and writer, and I'm based in the UK. We shape our buildings, and then our buildings shape us. That's the quote of this guy up here, Winston Churchill. What he was specifically talking about was the building behind me, Houses of Parliament and particularly the main debating chamber of the House of Commons. Um, he was talking about its uh, shape, its rectangular form. It creates, with a rectangle, it creates opposite sides, it creates opposition, it creates an adversarial form of politics. So therefore that's actually reflected, um, that style of politics is reflected in the building's architecture and vice versa. It's a reinforcing cycle. So what has this got to do with software development? Well, a surprising amount, because when you create a software system, it has a software architecture. And that software architecture contains the concerns and expresses the desires and the wishes and the complexities of a given system. And there are two audiences that it affects and shapes. One is the software developers. So a software, arch a software architecture is effectively a social, uh, a social structure. It's a structure of participation. It tells you how people will cooperate or find themselves in opposition. It tells people how they will work. It, uh, an architecture offers a model, it offers a place in which you live and think and breathe. So that is one side of that. You shape the architecture, the architecture shapes you, it shapes the development team, it shapes the development culture. But there is another side and there is another audience. And this is one we also need to take care of. It's not a purely technical decision. There is the idea that we shape our algorithms and then our algorithms shape us. There is the idea of the user experience and the social experience and the consequence of our built systems. So when we talk about uh, software architecture in neutral terms, we're missing something really important. It has social implications for users, the world around the software, and for the developers within the software structure. Was that a good tip? Quite a sight, wasn't it, sir? We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.